Boxing Opinions 100. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. This bout took place in the super welterweight division. And once I say again, uh, the name, pronunciation, I hope I get it right. I no need to, I'm not trying to defend, offend anybody. Kerman G. Jaraga versus Jack Flatley. Remember, this is in the super welterweight division. Uh, Kerman came out in the first round, hit Flatley with a hard, punishing jab, like a strong jab. And dropped him. Uh, his, his knees buckled, and I, I was trying to see. I was like, "Well, how did, he must have really hurt him with a jab." But this, this in boxing, this is what they call the power jab. But uh, Jack Flatley uh, made it to his feet, was able to get up and fight on. He would uh, fight back. He would hit uh, Kerman with shots here and there, but you could tell Kerman G. Jaraga was just too strong for him. Uh, you heard Jack Flatley's corner say that they were relying on uh, Kerman G. Jar Jaraga to uh, fade late, but it seems that Kerman only got even stronger. Jack Flatley uh, would, would fight, but you could see the wear and tear from the body shots and the head shots begin to take the effect on him. There was like several rounds where uh, Kerman would hit him with just a jab and you would see his back leg buckle. Uh, I seen him, I thought he slipped, and I thought uh, Flatley slipped in the middle of the ring one time. I didn't think that that happened from there, but I think that that may have been the beginning of his legs starting to portray him. And uh, Kerman uh, G. Jaraga uh, hit uh, Jack Flatley in the ninth round with an overhand right. And this is one of the most uh, brutal KOs that you would want to see. You know, he uh, he looked at uh, like he he looked like he was really out, like unconscious out. But they were able to uh, you know go over the doctors and and get uh, Jack Flatley uh, back to his feet. And you could see where uh, Kerman. After uh, he had knocked Flatley down, he had uh, went to his knees and started praying for uh, Flatley. I, I like to, when boxers do that because that lets you know that even though that this is a, a mean sport and you have to be mean in there, uh, you still want them, uh, these boxers to make it home to their they family. So uh, good thing Jack Flatley is okay and all hats off to Kerman. G. Jaraga for the uh, title. He's the title holder. Uh, uh, I didn't mention that. Yeah, he, he had the belt. Able, he was defending his title. And this is Boxing Opinions 100, and you already know.